Sydney Smith surfs up, bro. Yeah, I want you. Give it a little you. You with the shaka. Oh, I'm sorry. Yee! Why is it putting my face Yee! on that thing? Yeah, that there thing? we go. This is terrifying. Uh, okay, two weeks in the books. You've updated your power rankings. Some upsets this past weekend. Go. Can we go worst to best this time? Sure. All Absolutely. Right. I think I know who's at the top, but go for it. Well, here we go. At the bottom, uh, in the 32 to 24, fourth quadrant, uh, two notables. I think the Colts, they could very well make fools of me. I dropped them 11 spots. I'm really worried about that offensive line being leaky. Matt Ryan getting beat up. Uh, also, the Raiders, um, as they slide a little bit. Actually, they're going to be in the next quadrant up. I messed that one up. Quadrant. But the Colts are the most concerning because, you see, they could very well bump up. There's the Raiders at the back end of 17 through 24. Um, the Lions, I'm They're looking down at. Eight, the Raiders? Yeah. Okay. Their pass rush fell off. If they have no pass rush, they have serious issues. Lions but, uh, are feisty. The Lions, and they got an opportunity this week. That look, 35 and a half points per week on offense. You mentioned I'm on Ross St. Brown, a Southern California legend in high school with Bryce Young and yeah. JT Daniels at Modern think Day. Think Okuda's so. going to do something? I think, I think so. I guess, so. really? Absolutely. You don't think this is a Justin rush, Jefferson 200 yard game? They figured it out in, uh, in Philadelphia, Ooh. right? I know. I know. Are we going to continue? We Let's do it. You. Let's do it. Let's get into this the meat show, of this, the Lenny. playoff teams, if you will. Look at the Cowboys. They were down 12 last week. They're up eight this week. Why? Micah Parsons very well may be the most dominant force on either side of the ball yeah. in the NFL Ask right Joey now. Burrow. Yeah. Exactly. So I think what you're seeing now, Dan Quinn is so underrated. He gets lumped in with that Pete Carroll, Gus Bradley, cover three. No, Dan Quinn is messing with teams. I mean, big time, especially because he has that weapon. One of the most indomitable forces we've seen since Lawrence Taylor. I don't think that's an egregious comparison. Yes, it's hyperbolic, wow. but... He can't be stopped. I mean, he basically injured Donovan Smith. Uh, he beat up on Jonah Williams at number one. He beat up on the big free agent acquisition, Lyle Collins. He can't be contained, and that's what's going to set up the tone. Up nine spots, Cooper Rush. And they get three of their next four in division. Giants, Commanders, then I believe it's Rams, and then Eagles. So we're really going to see what the Cooper Cowboys Rush are Cooper Rush would do. be a good surfer name. I think so, too, because you, you call me like, yo, Cooper what's up, Coop? Yeah. What's uh, up, Coop? You, yeah, you, Coop. Yeah. All right, what's next? <laughs> All right, let's go to one through eight. And uh, when it comes to this category, look, this is where it's super tight. Uh, the Bucks take a big tumble. Um, I'm just concerned about their offense. But you see what's highlighted there. Uh, the 49ers jumping up six spots, even with the injury to Trey Lance. And I think, like, the key with the 49ers, to me, is – we know what they are with Jimmy Garoppolo. We know how Kyle Shanahan, he is the best offensive play caller in the league. And you look at that game, uh, you know, that game against Seattle, and what do you have? You've got Sally. five yards per, per per carry, 189 total rushing yards, okay. two touchdowns on the ground. Okay. Just keep us just keep us out of trouble, Jimmy. And that's what it's going to be with that dominant defensive front. I hope so. And then hopefully Kittle, like I was saying, comes back. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, they've the been mix. doing this without him. And he is one of the great, unique weapons in the NFL because he does it all as a tight end. Nine, I know. I think not, yeah. I don't think Aaron Rodgers was happy to see Jimmy G get back into the spotlight. Probably not. Team. Probably not. All right. What, uh, what else we got? Well, we got Chiefs and Chargers. I know people were looking at that like, wait a minute. The Chargers just lost on Thursday night, and you have them ahead of the Chiefs. Oh, yeah. What are you doing? So our friend Danny Woodhead made the point for me. Tell me. The Chargers dominated that game. I mean, they absolutely dominated that game. Orlando Brown is an issue for the Chiefs. That offensive line is an issue. If they actually got holding penalties called against them, they'd be in a world of hurt. But Patrick Mahomes was under duress the entire game. He had four interception-worthy plays. Unfortunately, the Chargers and the officials weren't able to cash those in. One got a flag that should not have been thrown. I would have had that pick, and I thought Asante had his hand under that other one that would have been a pick. Mm -hmm. Both of those drives led to touchdowns. So I'm concerned about the Chiefs up front. I'm excited about the Chargers' defense. <laughs> What's my lesson for today? <laughs> You're doing well. I just you like to pretend. That's the key is you want to get your – you got your head up. So long borders put their head down and their feet down. Don't, Short borders. Don't, don't use words I don't understand. What's a long, so long you're on, board? So you're on a little – you're on a 6 fish right now. I brought in my kids' boards today because we were kind of oh, rolling thanks. around on them so they're no longer fiberglass. Uh, what they're top, just foamies. Top, give, give me a little something. While you tell me about uh, it. All right, here we go. We're not going to do that. Well, let's all hang right, out here. What, so what, yeah, Chuck, give me a little love here. A lot of people keep their hands on the rails when they pop up. You don't want to do that. So the sharks can you come nibble your, on them. Yeah, it'll be great. You want great. your hands here. Okay. And then the idea when you pop is, and I'm not going to do the full burpee, but you want your front foot when you pop up to be right between your hands. That oh, way. Oh, it's like a yoga move. Yeah, exactly. It's like warrior exactly. Two. Like warrior I'm not two. doing that. I'm Come on, do it. Myself. Come on. Hey, tell me about a matchup you're excited about this weekend while we do this. I know you like Jag Chargers. I do, yes. Yeah. So I love that. Oh, you know what? You were just about to do a duck dive. So you put your one foot up oh, and you push like down. A, oh, yeah, that's, that's what I was trying to do. Dive. Hold on. I'm doing a duck dive. Everyone, a duck dive. There you go. You got it. That's how you push under the wave and you can paddle out. This is a terrible idea. Okay, tell me about the Jags and Chargers. Oh, that Jags front. It's super. I'm going to move this way. I'm feeling really awkward. The Jags front against 
the Chargers offensive line, Corey Lindsley banged up, Trey Pipkins banged up. We saw Trayvon Walker and Josh Allen really wreck the Colts. So that's going to be something to keep an eye on. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you're all out of... <laughs> the good news is, you're not even battling yet, Oh, my Jane. God, I can't handle this. Okay, this, by the way... Quickly, this go is, to break. This is a surf move. Packers this, is, this is known as the, uh, the two-board Packers, Packers, so Packers well Buccaneers. 